Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Happy Friday and welcome on into Mario Party 2 Minigun Coaster on the Nintendo Switch Online service. We're going to be playing the hard difficulty today. We did easy and normal last time to unlock what was necessary from those, but now we're going to do the the big final boss of Mario Party 2 essentially, which is Minigun Coaster Hard Mode. Um, there are nine rooms. There's only one minigame in the last room, so there are really like eight full rooms of minigames. Um, and we unlock my favorite minigame tree, the battle game tree. Because all the battle games in Mario Party 2 are my favorite. And then we'll also unlock a new minigame, Rainbow Run, which is essentially tightrope treachery from Mario Party 1, except you're walking on a rainbow and getting shot at by your friends that are cruising in the clouds. It's really mythical and kind of ridiculous, but I like it better just because it's like cuter. I don't know. It's really like the concept doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's a fun time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, hopefully it's not a slog. We can kind of cheat with NSO because you can make save states. So if we really get in a jam and my hand starts to get tired or something, then I'm just going to do that because I've done this a million times normally. So I'm kind of like, okay, I don't care about much anymore if we get to that to that point. Um, but that is the plan for today, the plan of attack. This will also be, it's the final Friday in February today, which feels really weird. Uh, but it's also going to be uh, my final uh, stream of, on Friday uh, for the next two weeks. Um, just because I won't be streaming next Friday, I'll be at an anime convention as a cosplay guest. I'm going to Anime Crossroads. Um, and then the Friday after that, I'll be live again. So we have, um, I'll be, I'll stream on Friday again two weeks from now. Sorry if that was <laughs> confusing the way I worded that. But next Friday, I'm not going to be streaming because I will be at the convention. So the next Friday stream you can expect will be March 8th, which seems so far away, just number-wise. Um... So anyway, that's the plan, so, uh, and I think in March, I'm just gonna kind of talk about my plans a little bit today as I'm streaming, but I think in March I'm gonna try and have a regular, um, content plan as far as each stream, like a specific type of stream on any given day. Now that I've kind of finished up the two playthroughs I was working on, I finished up Super Mario Bros. Wonder on Tuesday, and I finished up uh, Yoshi's Crafted World last week. So now that those games are done, I have a little bit more freedom to work with. And I think in March, I, I want to stick to Mario Party uh, streams on Fridays. So that's kind of my tentative plan. And I think I'm going to do like crafting on Monday because that's kind of where that's fallen anyway. And then have like Tuesday and Thursday be my um, days where I can have variety. But I don't know yet. I'm still working out the plan. I'm working on the schedule, but that's kind of how I'm thinking things will play out. So we'll see. But let's say hi to everybody who's here because we have lots of people in chat. We have uh, Stardev94, Phoenix Warriors, Tim Lauren, Armand2017, Ms. Mario Fan7, Phantom Tempest. We also have Scottman895, Other Otter64, uh, Koopa Bui. And anybody lurking, welcome. Wow, thank you, uh, Bowie. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Va family. All the Vaas to you. Thank you for 26 months. Really means a lot. It's over two years. Um, and just thank you for being... Hi, Julie. Thank you for being part of the stream today. Um, Julie's gonna join us from the window, probably. Um, oh my gosh, it has been a while, Scott, man. I hope you've been doing well. Um... Yeah, hope you've been doing well, and um, I know that I've been having a lot of daytime streams, so for those of you who work during the day, it's not the most accommodating, but it's also my day job, so I guess it's accommodating for me. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about like channel updates, content updates, kind of like what's going to happen in March because every month I kind of like to renew things or try different things. Oh, there goes Jilly. She's going to get comfy. Um, I kind of just like to try different things each month to see what fits. Yo, Scott, man, thank you so much for the sub as well. All the boss to you. Big sub hype. 68 months. 
so many. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. That's a long time. That's a lot of years. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for the classic 640 bits for the hype train. Thank you. Thank you, Scott, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the bits. Um, I should mention I lowered the uh, con fund amount to more attainable goal because I would rather have a closer goal to reach that uh, music vlog reward than just not reach it at all or have it be so far out. Um, especially since the goal is kind of just for, um, it's kind of just for me, like, uh, to be able to not have to worry that I'm not streaming that weekend. Um, so it's more of a selfish goal. <laughs> so that's like, all right, we'll lower the amount. I made the amount kind of big because I wanted it to stretch all the way up until the convention, but now we're a week out. So it's like, okay, it doesn't need to be that big anymore. Um... So that's kind of the tea on that if you're like, that donation goal doesn't look the same. Oh, Jilly washing her face. She's so sweet. So anyway, if you're interested in donating, if you like what you see and you feel like uh, tipping, if you will, um, that's where that's going at the moment. It's going towards a music vlog incentive uh, from Anime Crossroads Convention. So, And if you want to know what that's like, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I have some music vlogs on there already from previous cons. There was a reward for this last year. So if that's something that interests you, check it out. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the game screen. I'll continue to talk about updates as we go. Whoa, no, that you are not who I'm gonna play as. I'm so sorry. And I should have charged my controller before this so I didn't have to have it plugged in, but here we are. All right, so I talked last week about how the character that you don't want to see the most is should probably be your partner. I always go with my second favorite, which is Yoshi. But maybe we'll do DK so we don't have to deal with him. And then I can pretend like it's Odie too, because usually my husband, Odin's back, ends up playing as DK, so it works out. Alright, so if you were here last week, you'll have seen a lot of these minigames twice already. Um, there's only a handful of them that you have not seen, and they are the most annoying ones for the most part. Uh, we're gonna start the same way. You always start with a save for whatever reason, but you always start with bumper balls. These rooms will stay the same, these first six rooms. So really the only rooms that are gonna be different are the last three, but again, the third room, the room number nine or whatever, it just has one minigame in it. It's like the final minigame, and it's a repeat of something we'll have seen already, so it's not really that incredible. Um, Fuzzy Prince, 1996, welcome to the stream. You used to... Oh my goodness! That's amazing! Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for your, your long-time viewership and for stopping by the stream. It's always fun to... What happened to Yoshi? It's always fun to have new viewers at the stream, especially longtime viewers from YouTube, so I always appreciate that. This is the hardest course in Bumper Balls. It's the one with the hills, although I don't really... I don't really think it's a whole lot different from any of the other ones. Bumper Balls can be annoying because it's, you, you can't tie. You have to actually be the last man standing. You also can't do that, so... Cool. <laughs> anyway, we're immediately losing. Torterabyte, welcome to the stream! And yeah, we get to see Yoshi in these minigames for once, because like, normally we never get to see him, so... Yay, Yoshi! Except, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to play, because he's like, I never had to do this before. I've always just been your partner, so what do I do now? Um, so I put my mochi pillow on display behind me. That big one up back there is, is my newest uh, pillow that I bought. I don't- I didn't have any, like, a whole lot of licensed Nintendo stuff, I realized. Like, just going through my decor and, you know, I tend to go with a lot of, like, pastel, cute, girly decor anyway, but, like, it was just weird that I didn't have anything, so... 
I was like, I need to change that. Yo, Rainbow Road, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Ba family. Sub hype, always appreciated. I would Ba, but I will fall off this ball if I. No, don't tag team! God, they've been so close to the edge the entire time. What? What was this game? What was this game? What is this new emote, too? Love sign. That is so cute. It's like a... A big cutie holding up a sign. I love that. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the hype train. Oh, yours is cute, too, Scott. Man, you got love hearts. Ooh, I don't know if I have that one. Let me type it out and see. I don't think I do. No, I don't! Yo, all the boss to uh, Rainbow Road. Thank you so much. We're gonna get a game over. Why do they- why? Why do they go for the edge immediately? Can't they just do that the rest of the game? Okay, we got... Mario. I just realized that... Oh, no. Okay. I minimized OBS. I need to bring it back up because now my audio is funky on my end. Alright, so in March, I think I'm gonna start off uh, the first Friday in March, which is March 8th. The first Friday I'll be streaming in March, I should say. Which is March 8th. I think I'm gonna continue on with Mario Party 3 Story Mode on NSO. We just saw this full playthrough of Story Mode last year. Um, but then it got, you know, the game got released on the Nintendo Switch Online service. So, now I'm trying to beat it again because I really want to get Game Guy's Room. To, like, or unlock Mario's Puzzle Party or whatever. Um, infinite Mode because I've never done it before. It's really hard to get, so many, get the needed amount of coins in Game Guy's Room. But now we have safe stating. So I'm like, alright, we gotta do it. <laughs> Plus, I just want to beat story mode anyway. Like, I, I do want to beat it on NSO. So, I want to try that out. That's kind of why I'm going to start doing that. I was streaming it on Discord casually. But I figure I might as well work it into my stream schedule. Since I haven't had as much, like, casual downtime. With the convention and everything. I think it's 19, but I'm gonna have to recount because, whoa, that is way too high. <sighs> yeah, I think it's 19. That's what I'm gonna go with. So, that's uh, kind of why I want to beat it, is so I can actually, like, defeat Game Guy finally after all these years. Yay! Alright, too bad we have, like, literally one life. <laughs> so stupid! Um... Tile driver. I see London, I see France, I see Yoshi's underpants. Never gets old. I jumped way too high. Dang it, Peach. It's on my tail. Oh, that was close. Okay, good. I like that minigame, though. I'm pretty good at that one. Pretty good. So there was a lot that, um... That happened this week, there's a lot happening next week. There's a ton happening next week for me especially, but um, we had our the Nintendo Direct earlier this week. Truth be told, I wasn't very excited about it because it was just a partner showcase and I'm so into mainstream titles. Like, I am. I'm, I'll admit it, like, I'm good with... Why is Peach's head so much smaller than... Her head is like the size of Wario's nose. Look at this. It's so tiny. Okay, anyway. Um, I wasn't excited for it because I... Like, obviously I was going to watch it, but I didn't really... I didn't think there would be anything of interest for me. 
because I'm pretty mainstream when it comes to the games I'm interested in. And, like, that's, that's fine. That's just who I am, you know? Um, I like Mario. I like a lot of mainstream stuff. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh, I have to stop talking for a second because I can't do this and talk at the same time or I will lose. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, we have to get through this first. So I wasn't really expecting much, but I was pleasantly surprised. I even like, I got like a really bad night's sleep that night before and it was in the morning and I woke up and it was technically over. It was like 930 when I woke up. So I turned it on. I just turned on the video, which wasn't live. Was it a live stream? Cause it made it seem like it was not like it was just a, a video. Um, but I, I watched the video back and I kept like dozing off in it, which tells you how much it kept my interest. Like the first half of it, I was like, oh, in and out, like half the announcements I've already seen announced before as most of us have. And I also had seen like a lot of these games like available for pre-order in GameStop and places. So it wasn't like a lot of new information that I cared about. Um, so I fell asleep midway through and then I woke up like an hour and a half later um, because again I got like a really bad night's sleep and so oh my god I love this song anyway so I missed that first watch through I missed like half of it and I missed my favorite announcement so that was put me set me up for a good surprise later on I hate that I can't talk during any of these mini-games I'm playing. Oh no. Ooh! Okay, we got it. So much stress. <laughs> Woo! Okay, anyway. Um... So the very last announcement had me shook. I was so excited and I'm not talking about the rare stuff. I know that a lot of people were like freaking out about the rare announcements because everybody's like desperate for a lot of the rare games that aren't on uh, Switch Online yet. But I just, you know, I'm kind of indifferent. Like if they add them, great. If they don't, I don't really care, it's fine. Um, but they did add a game from my childhood. They added RC Pro-Am, which has like the worst controls on the planet. So I'm kind of excited to go back and play that just for memory's sake. To see if it's as bad as I remember, because I'm sure it is. <laughs> sure it is. But it is a game from my childhood, so it's at least fun to see something like that. But the very last announcement, I was so shook, you guys. I had no expectations. And when I saw the first, um little like scenescape of the ocean I was like wait is no is this really is this really like no way and it was it was endless ocean for switch and I loved that game on the Wii I had the original endless ocean on the Wii always wanted to get the second game but never found it or got a hold of it I saw it once at a used game store and it was in such gross condition I wasn't willing to pay for it or to pay the asking price for it, because this is like after the Wii era had died. Uh, but I loved the original Endless Ocean. I'm a huge, huge ocean person. I love the ocean and marine man mammals are my favorite animals. Um, so uh, like I was a mermaid in a past life. That's just like a fact about me that people don't know, but it's true. So anyway, I'm just like, oh, and then the fact that it also introduced like the, it had online play back on the Wii, but it was like such a finicky system that it wasn't really that great. It has 30 person multiplayer online, so I'm like, this would be the perfect game to stream and like play with viewers, because it would just be so fun. So I'm definitely going to make that my next donation goal. It's not the full $60 amount of a game. It's, uh, it's 50 I mean, it's still a pretty penny, but it's not like brand new AAA title, full price game price. Uh, wow, that was redundant. Anyway, but 
I can set up streams to play with you guys then. Whoa, this is hard to look at. Okay. Um, and it has like mythical elements too. Like it just has like fantasy elements in addition to just real. I, I just thought it was so cool. I was so excited about that. I love Endless Ocean, so. Mm -hmm. And I did- I've never played Epic Mickey, but I think that's the kind of game that makes for a good remake because the controls were so bad on the Wii. From what I heard, they were like notoriously bad. Like, people hated the controls and said they weren't reliable. So I'm like, that's the perfect opportunity to fix that. So hopefully they do. Um, and you know, whereas because I didn't have it on the Wii originally, it's like, I'm not really... Oh, I forgot you can't press Z on this. I'm not really worried about picking it up unless I like... Wa I, it'd probably be one of those games I need to watch somebody stream it and see if I'm like truly interested. For as much of a Disney person as I am, I just... I don't know if it's like my style game necessarily. Um, so, but I know a lot of people were really excited for that too, and I can see why. Um, I just don't think that any of us were really expecting a whole lot of Wii revival, if that makes sense. Like, there's been so much talk and so much talk about GameCube for so long now, and it's like, it's just turned into all of us complaining, I think, and it's like, maybe we should just, like, get over it <laughs> expect something else. Uh, because I really don't think they're gonna even do much with that until the next console. Yo, that was, like, the easiest game of my life! I gotta take a video of that! I didn't do- I didn't do crap. I just set my control in my lap and... Let the shell roll. Rolling in America? Nah, rolling in mini games. Welcome to mini game coaster hard mode, Shliam. We're headed into world three now. <laughs> Yoshi's on my side, you guys. You have to imagine, after being my partner in every like solo mode Mario Party for like how many years now? 25 years. He knows what's up. Ah, uh, I hate this. Ooh, I don't want to play this, but I have to. So we're getting it over with. Uh, this just has me thinking. I might make some safety save states too. Just because. I'm not really worried about this one, but... Um, I never got the concept of this as when I was little, because I'm like, you know, growing up in America, it's like, this is a crane game, claw machine, what does this have to do with outer space? You know, it wasn't until later that I learned about, like, Japan's UFO catchers and how they've taken over arcades and the whole claw machine scene. I'm like, oh, it all makes sense now. But before, it was just strange. So I find that funny. This does not translate to, or didn't at the time, it did not translate to a North American audience. Come on now. All right. Well, at least I got him. Woo! Okay. Yeah, I just, like, I know I can do it without save states, but just for my own sanity, this go. Probably a good idea. Also, I don't even know how to save state on this controller. There it is. Okay, well, let me just make one just because. I mean, I don't think we're going to need that, but... Okay, it's a lot easier to save state on this controller than on the uh, Super Nintendo controller. Power of God Red Yoshi, welcome to the stream. I always just assumed it was a space-themed crane game, which I guess, you know, what's the harm in that? But at the same time, it's like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Is this one that I can win by, like, not doing anything? Should we try? Stop. I guess I have a save state, like, so I don't lose my streak. I don't know. 
Dang it. <laughs> oh. Right, exactly. No, no shame in making it less infuriating now. Come on, you guys! Look the same way as me! <laughs> I wish Superstars had minigame coaster too. That'd be so fun. They keep debating me! Okay, I'm gonna look left and then right. I should not do anything. Everybody look front. Nobody looked front. Cool! Come on. Alright, well I am like... I'm gonna just keep going. I'm not gonna worry about the save state until we get like low on lives or something. This one can be kind of annoying though. It just sucks because it comes after Crane Game, which is a masher and it's one of the longer mini games. Ooh, sucks to suck! Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! I didn't mean to- I meant to go forward and I hit left. I really did screw that up. Okay, I got Mario. I just need to get Luigi. Fruits! Come on now. <sighs> he should not be able to move that late. Like, it was past the point. It was past the point. Come on. Dumb. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Peach's earrings are absurdly large in this game. I hate how you guys both look the same way at the last second. Why am I- I'm not- I'm not even gonna look. Look away? More like don't look. It didn't work. This isn't working, you guys. How have the- <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if I'd gotten all of them. I would have died. I would have been so... Shook. Sure. Oh crap. I was so close to winning by, by not looking. Yeah. I hate getting stuck on look away. Maybe I'll just like always go back to the front. Maybe that's the strategy. I, I I went too soon though. I can't go that soon. Ooh, okay, this could be the strategy. Shoot, why didn't I just pay attention to what she was doing? Oh man. Oh, da, 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 da. Can you believe I've played this this many times? This is so stupid. I don't want to look away anymore. My itches. <sighs> At least this is a fun looking mini game. <laughs> I know, it- I mean, it kind of is luck-based if you- Oh, I got Mario again. It's kind of fun to get one person a bunch, because then they shrink. I hate that I- I'm 
gonna go up and down this time. Of course I end on up. Man, I suck! I cannot! It, yeah, if you get the same person every single time, they shrink to, like, the tiniest little size, and it's really funny. We may have to use that save state, you guys, because I'm not playing Crane Game again. Watch, we'll beat it this time, and I'll have, like, no lives again. That's how my luck goes. I'm telling you, this strategy... Oh, I could have just stayed and I would have gotten Peach. I got all of them? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so luck based. This is what- this is what I'm talking about. Ah, Okay. What's the next minigame? I don't remember. Archer Rival, which I have to be one of the three. I'm gonna make a save state in addition to the other one I had. Uh, just because... Just because. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm the Archer! Why did I think I was one of the three players? Why do I feel like I was one of the three players last time? Okay, Toad. Toad's doing me favors. What am I doing, though? Alright, you guys hold- What are you doing? You're supposed to hold Luigi! Okay, you hold Luigi. Now hold Mario. You little- Okay, I get one more shot. This is so stupid. This is because all the the CPU difficulty also goes up with the the roller coaster difficulty. So now all these CPUs are hard CPUs. And they're all big and stupid. Oh, I didn't mean to get you, Toad. All right, Boo, hold hold down the fort. Boo, come back. No! Okay, hold down Luigi. Very Luigi's mansion right now. Okay, now go get Yoshi. Ugh. Yoshi! You're supposed to be on my side here! Finish. What? I got him! <laughs> this game. <sighs> this game is stupid. Okay, we're gonna load. Let's just load that point after look away. Because it's stupid. I, I know, I'm cheating, but I don't care. I've done this enough in my life. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, hold him. Hold him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Don't. No. Okay, I need you guys to come all the way over. Now just hold him there. Uh-uh! Do not run away! <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Yo, Bill the Fajita! How's it going? What a cheap L it was. Oh, uh, okay, I got him. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one you can kind of cheat on. Because you're in control of the shell, so you can, like, move it. Oh, shoot, they're all in a line? Okay, you can, like, move it as it's hitting everybody. Which I didn't know when I was little. Ooh, I almost got a strike! Yo! Warrior with that sunset behind him. Just imagine any, like, grown man going out in bright purple. 
overalls with a bright yellow long sleeve shirt on underneath. Showing up to the bowling alley. That's the end of easy mode, by the way, if you do the easy coaster. That is the end of it. Okay, we're gonna continue. We got to save, so we don't need to make a save state. Toad in a box! I love this minigame, except I have really bad luck sometimes with it. Even though I know the strategy of, like, watching the block, it cheats, it doesn't do what it says it's supposed to do. Like, a lot of the time you'll hit it when it shows Toad and it will not give you Toad. Okay, that time I did not hit it at the right time. Hold on. We gotta... Oh, I love when Toads, like, yell at the same time. It sounds so funny. Okay, after the third one is when it gets tough. Is, see, I was like, red, red, red. No. Come on. What? You can't be that quick, Luigi. What's your favorite minigame in the coaster? That's a good question, because my favorite minigame in Mario Party 2 is not... It's a battle minigame, so it's not even in the coaster. Um, and I'm not even- obviously I love facelift, but I'm talking like, if you want to go like all-out minigame ever, I always am a huge lover of facelift, but when it comes to games that debuted in Mario Party 2, my favorite is Day at the Races. It's just so hilarious, and I, I love a good luck-based race, I guess. But that's not even in the coaster, that's not part of minigame coaster. I'm trying to think, what is my favorite? It's probably one of these that are kind of like, um... And I guess this is not similar to the other ones I'm thinking of. Like, I I do like, um... I like Toad in a Box. I do like Tile Driver. I like mini games of that nature where you're kind of against the clock. I like Tipsy Turny. Um... What? Luigi, you cheated me! I didn't even have the chance to jump for the fifth time! <sighs> Luigi! Not allowed to be good. Uh, let me think. I, I've gotta think, because I'm trying to think of, like, everything we've played so far. I don't know if any of those are my absolute favorite. But those are some of my favorites that I named. Are they my number one? I'm not sure yet. So I will get back to you. I will answer this by the end of this. I will answer this question. What is my favorite minigame outside of like battle minigames? Because those are the those are the best ones in my opinion. Maybe not rake em, raking them in. Like there are some bad ones. <gasps> oh, that was so clean! Oh, I have no lives though, of course. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> the worst luck with this. Um that's one that I don't mind playing again if we get a game over, though. Oh, Tipsy Turney's right here. Okay. Should I have save stated? Maybe, but whatever. Um, I wonder why they made Wario short, Wario's shirt short-sleeved in recent years. I think just to be like, wow, look, he's muscular now. Uh, that's at least the idea that, or the concept, I think, that they're going for. To hit the races is ridiculous. It's just so good. I don't know. And you can play it differently every time and complain about things that are totally out of your control. I don't know. I just love... I, I'm a fan... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a fan of luck-based stuff, so it doesn't bother me. I know it, like, really irritates some some people, including my, my good friend uh, Slim Kirby. <laughs> he, like, hates all the luck-based stuff, and I'm like, I love it. Um... I'm the opposite. Was that me? I have no idea if that was actually me. Okay, it was! It was me! <clears throat> My go-to in Day at the Races is Boo. Whereas... Odin Spax is bob -omb, so lately, which usually bob -omb's not like my top choice, but I'll, if Boo's not available, I'll pick bob -omb just to show him that bob -omb will win for me, but he he almost never wins for him. Oh, I like this minigame too. I like the simple minigames, I think, because all the ones that I'm thinking of that I'm like, oh, that's fun, oh, I like that one best, they're all very simple, like extremely simple concepts. 
um, kind of easy to screw up because they're just easy in general. I think I just like the, the simpler the better when it comes to mini games in Mario Party 2. And they don't, the CPUs don't always play this super great either. They like, don't do the best job, so that one's not too tough. Do I have a life now? No. Dang it. I need a life. Okay, what is this? Di oh, I love Dizzy Dancing. Dizzy Dancing might be one of my favorites. For a while, I think it, it was my favorite. It's just kind of short. That's the only thing. It's like they improved the concept with Superstars, how there's more than one music note to collect. But they made the controls worse because they like made them easier to understand. I think just because they dang it, I'm I didn't. Oh no. I'm gonna have to play this again. <laughs> Ooh, sorry guys. Alright, well I goofed. Again, I could have save stated, but I actually like all these minigames and I didn't really have any lives to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. I think we're better off if we get a game over just starting over. Um, no, I think, like, Dizzy Dancing is better in Superstars because it's not such a short, like, one and done. I just wish they would have kept the controls the same as in this game because in that one, it's just backwards. The controls are just backwards, whereas in this one, they're random. But again, I think they probably changed it to make it a little bit easier to get multiple notes, but I think it would have made it more chaotic. I think I would have personally liked it better had it been random still. That's just me, though. It's still a great game. I like it. Why did I jump then? I knew that wasn't right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I really like this room of minigames, though. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, because now if you play Dizzy Dancing on uh, Superstars, you can kind of just hold your controller upside down and play regularly. Dang it! Why doesn't this game give me Toad? Please? I've been good. This is so stupid. Mmm. Oh, man. Toad in a box, man. Get him out of there. Do 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 do. So I was talking about the Nintendo Direct um, that happened earlier this week earlier. I'm really excited for the Pokemon Direct. And I don't know that I have any specific, like, wants from it. I'm just excited for whatever the heck they announce, like, in general. I don't think there's anything that I'm like, ooh, I really want a remake of this, or I really hope they introduce the next gen. Like, I think I'm kind of indifferent. Like, I don't care what they do, I'm just excited to see what's coming next. Like, I'm just very much in that ballpark, because I always love, um... I love Pokemon news, so... Pokemon Day! They've been releasing quite a few collections to Pokemon Center, too. If you haven't checked it out in a few days, um, check it out because they have, like, a... They have, like, a Comfort Buddies plush line they just introduced. There's a really cute Jigglypuff, like, comforting a crying Igglybuff. And they're like the... You, like, pull them apart and they, like, vibrate back together. It's supposed to be, like, the, the little... The little guy running to its mommy or whatever, but, um... They just introduced that. They have some, like, home decor. They have... There was another s collection or something that was on there that I saw. That I was like, oh my god, these are so cute. I don't know, but they'll have free shipping on Pokemon Day. So if you see anything you want now that's... I mean, they have free shipping at $20 anyway. It's not really that hard to get free shipping, but... Uh... Oh my gosh, how did I do this twice? Oh, I'm gonna lose now. How could I get stuck on Toad in a Box? <laughs> Again. They did, they teased something with Gen 1 and Ghosts. And I love the Gen 1 Ghosts, so I'm really excited. Haunter's one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. 
But I love Ghastly and Gengar too. They're like easy loves. So I'm just like, what's come with these ghosties? I don't know, but I'm excited. I tend to like the ghost types in general. Um. Hoping for a new Legends game, but I'm down for whatever they have. I am just down for whatever they have in general. You know what I'm also down for? To not have to play Toad in the Box again. <laughs> Ah! Okay, I said okay at the same time. Didn't mean to. I was watching a vlog yesterday of, um... It's a vlog I've seen before, and it's several years old, but it's of one of the YouTubers I used to follow religiously back in the day. She doesn't make content anymore, but, um... She went to Japan, and she went to all these cool places that I would love to go to. Uh, and it was her vlog of, like, the Pokemon Cafe. I'm like, ah, I want to go. I want to go to the Pokemon Cafe. It's kind of t- it's kind of sucks to watch, like, an older vlog now, because you see, like, merch and stuff that you're like, I want that. Where is it? And it's like, oh, they're not making it anymore. Never mind. You can't even get it online. Okay, I guess I've learned my lesson, you guys. After I win Toad in a Box, we're save stating, so we don't have to see it a hundred more times. Sure, even though that's the exact same thing as last time. I'll be happy as long as we don't get another Kanto remake. I would be happy with another Kanto remake. I really do, I don't care. I'm such a Gen 1-er that I'm told I'll go back to Kanto as many times as they'll send me there. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> I will always go back to Kanto, because that is my hometown. Um, and I know they've remade it a lot, but it's like, it's iconic for a reason. You know what would be fun? If we got a Pokemon Crystal remake, because that's the game that like... It's really expensive now. And... It would just be like... It would just be, like, so cool to have, like, a remake of that, because I know so many people love the Legendary Dogs. I know I got the cartridge, like, later, like, after the fact. Okay, good, I have all my lives. I'm still gonna save state just to be safe. But, um, I don't know. I was like, that would be so cool to have a remake of that one. Which, that's Gen 2, so, like, whatever. We haven't had a Gen 2 remake in since, like, uh, DS, so... You know, like, I think, wasn't the last Gen 2 remake the Heart Gold and Soul Silver? That was a long time ago now, so I could see them doing something with that. Okay, hold on. I have to make a save state. I'll just do slot one. And then we will not have to play Toad in a Box again, <laughs> if I mess up. We haven't been back to Johto since, like, 1937! I know, it's it's been a long time. It doesn't feel to me anyway, like it's been that long, but it really has been. It's been since I was like a teenager. Like since I was like just starting college, I'm pretty sure. So anyway. Yeah! Um, it is really impressi impressive, wow, how much they knocked it out of the park with Kanto first try. The core of the game has been the same all this time. It's really, it's so true. So very true. But I think, like I said, no matter what they say they're gonna do, I'm just excited for it. Just excited to see what it is. Whether it's a remake, brand new game, brand new gen, sequel. I am not picky. I just, I'm excited for news. So, whatever. <laughs> Um, I was saying, after I watched that vlog last night, I was telling, uh, Odin's back that, you know, I was like, I'm really glad that my all-time favorite Pokemon, which is Jigglypuff, by the way, is such a popular Pokemon. Usually, I'm not somebody who likes a really popular choice in things, and then I struggle to find merch or any kind of hype about it, but in that realm, I, she's really popular, so I'm like, I'm really, I'm glad that that's the one that I love the most, because it's so easy to see things come out with her, like, or from her. And my second favorite is Psyduck, and it's the same thing. Psyduck's really popular, they're always making merch of Psyduck, like, 
It happens all the time. So I'm like, I, I guess I, uh, I'm blessed that those are my favorites because oftentimes I'm like the hot take for whatever my favorite is. But again, it also pays to be a Gen 1 -er because then you're more likely to get merch of Gen 1 Pokemon. Unless your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon is like Ammonite or something. I don't know if they're gonna make a whole lot of merch of Ammonite, but <laughs> there are some that don't get us don't get a whole lot of representation, let's be real. <clears throat> Alright. What is... Oh, we lost on Dizzy Dancing last time. I'm like, what the heck did we do? Psyduck is in every game? Yeah. Let's go Psyduck for being so pop. Well, that's that's the thing, Phantom. That's the tough break of having your favorite be the evolution of the most popular Pokemon on planet Earth. And the mascot Pokemon of the entire series. <laughs> It will never get as much hype, you know? I'll be like, what? Why do that when we could just do Pikachu? Whatever. You know. Um. Oh. Okay, but whose favorite is Ammonite? Like, three people total, probably. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be in here like, but that's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna actually save state right here because shell shocked can be kind of annoying and um, shocking revelation. But this is actually a little bit of a yeah. foresight, right? Is that the right word? Into the future. So, oh, it's tread carefully. It is. It's get Luigi. It's get Mario. Ooh, so clean. I got lucky. That was luck. That was very lucky. Because usually it's not that clean. I think last time I played this on normal difficulty, it was like, I played that one like four times or something. Alright, we are in World 5. Starting with Magna Carta, one of the most Forgettable for some reason mini games in Mario Party 2. I don't think it's a bad mini game. I just think you never get it. Like if at least if you're me, you don't. I hardly ever see this mini game. Of course they put these single coins. And again, I didn't look at the uh, the requirements. Dang it, this coin! DK, I need you. DK, what are you doing? DK has done nothing this whole time. Yeah, we're gonna... I, I don't know if you have to get more than the other team, or if you just need a certain number of coins. Well, you just need a certain number of coins, and I don't know what that is, so... Who knows? I don't know. Okay. We are moving on to Bobsled Run. These are all 2v2 games. I meant to mention this earlier because I kind of didn't even realize this until last time. Um, because I haven't played easy or normal mode in such a long time. But, um, all these, ro these rooms will have like all 2v2 games, all 1v3. They're not really mixed up, so it's kind of a fun fact. Probably 15, that's what I would say is probably what you need. I honestly don't know though. Ready, go! Alright, we're bobsledding. With DK, it's weird to see Yoshi on the other team. So yeah, what was everybody's, um... I don't know, what was everybody's favorite announcement from the Nintendo Direct? I guess I didn't ask you all that yet. Because at the time when I was talking about it, I was playing Look Away like 80 times in a row, so... Mine was definitely Endless Ocean. I didn't expect to come out of that direct wanting a game, but I definitely do. And I'm definitely gonna make that my next donation goal after A-Cross with, um, 
an incentive, a bonus incentive of like obviously like first look and playthrough with viewers. It's kind of a game that you don't like, or at least the old one, you didn't like beat it necessarily, so we could just have sessions of it, that, that could be really fun. Um, and I think that's that kind of goes with something else I wanted to mention about like content. Um, I think in the next couple months I might start having like votes on my Discord as to like what stream you want to see on this day, like kind of thing. If I can't decide. And that would be like one of them, like a community stream day of like what games you want to play together. So, because we haven't done that in a really long time. So that's something I'll probably work into the schedule next month. Um, oh my gosh, Pixie! Pixel Plume, welcome to the stream! But yes, the crab game, the like... So I used to raise hermit crabs, you guys, and I know that, um, t yeah! as somebody who's raised hermit crabs as pets, if you put you're you're not supposed to put certain items in their cage to be like their... Oh my god, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna go back to that in just a second. What is that? You're so sweet! Odie coming in with a big surprise? As I'm playing the hand car havoc. <laughs> oh my god, you're too sweet! Look at this! He just surprised me with this big cutie! Is it a fox? It is a fox! It's so sweet! Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Odie. We got a big cutie surprise. That's adorable. I love it. Thank you. I love Valentine's Day animals anyway. <laughs> sweet husbo alert! No, that's right! Odie coming in clutch. Oh my gosh. That heart you just shared, Phantom, it like when it came on screen, it looked like it was coming out of the the coaster car. That was like perfectly placed on, on the stream. Oh, well we need to Okay, you guys can't see him right here, so I'm gonna have to move him where you can see him. Um, here, I'll put him back here because you'll for sure see him on the one up. So cute! We love a cutie animal. Oh, perfect. Okay. So cute. I love it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, gosh, what were we talking? The, the hermit crab game. Okay, so I raised hermit crabs. I know you're not supposed to put certain objects in their habitats as their food and water dishes because if they outgrow their shell or if they get a little antsy, they will wear, like, bottle caps, um, and certain like lids and weird things, weird pieces of trash as their shell, which is really not healthy. And their abdomen is so vulnerable and sensitive, it's very easy to lose the battle of life without a shell if you're a hermit crab. It's very dangerous. So, um, but you know, there were people that were, they were putting like bottle caps in their hermit crab's cages to put like treats in or food, and the hermit crabs would start wearing them, and it's like, Okay, no, we don't do this. So the fact that somebody knew that and made an entire game out of it is like the funniest, most amazing thing to me. I can't believe it. Um, and I can't believe the ocean core nature of this direct too. It was very interesting. So I didn't expect that. Uh, it looks cute though. It does look like a cute game. Quincy Crossing, you're excited for Endless Ocean and Fantasy Life. I had the, the Fantasy Life on DS, which I think, or 3DS, I think it was the original, I don't know if it was or if it was, just, it was the original for me maybe, but um, I couldn't get into it as much as other simulation games, so it's, I probably won't pick it up, but I definitely had it, oh dearly, anyway. This room should be pretty easy. This is okay, as we're losing majorly. This is not the hardest minigame to win though. And we have lives, so even if we don't get it this time, we'll be fine. Oh what? Come on! Okay. 
You know what I think I'm gonna also work into the Endless Ocean goal? Casper. Because that Casper in itself is like a less than $10 goal, so I'll just put it in that one too. Be like double game. Double um, incentive. Okay, good. I'm interested in the Epic Mickey remake. I really hope they fix the camera because that was that was what I was saying. I think that was before you got here, Shliam. I was saying that that was one of the things. The controls for Epic Mickey were truly terrible back in the day from what I heard. I didn't have it myself, but every single friend of mine that had it were like, Oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. You will have the only Endless Ocean plus Casper goal to ever exist. That's true. Endless Ocean plus Casper. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's such a popular goal among streamers, obviously. Um, didn't we lose this a bunch last time because somebody couldn't find the targets? And it wasn't me, because you're never the person uh, steering. Pocket jockey, pocket card jockey, I'm probably going to wait for sale, but pick that up for sure. That one looked cute. I'm not a huge solitaire person, so... But, like, the animation looks really cute. I'm like, I love the look of the- I'm a big horse fanatic, so obviously, like, anything with horses, I'm into, but... Dang, we're killing it this time! Yoshi sucked last time! I guess he was a normal CPU, though. Which plays worse, so... Oh my, that didn't even look like we hit it at all. It, w it like went behind the target. Break the targets. Can't help it, guys. It's the same era as this game. Got it. We haven't even let them get one. Oh, shoot. If I had aimed like two seconds... Or not even, like one second later, I would have gotten that. It's such a fun concept and style, but the controls and camera really ruin the experience. Fingers crossed it'll be the definitive version. I think that that's probably why they remade it, Shliam, or at least I would like to think that's why. Because it just doesn't seem like... You, you know, that's what I... I know that Odin was talking about this on his stream, like what makes a good remake or like... What validates a remake, I guess, and that's a big part of it. If there's a game that was, like, really hyped, that could have been really amazing, but there was something about it that was off, like, the, especially something like that, like the controls. Something that can be fixed. I think it makes for a good remake, because then it can potentially fix that. Like, I love Mario Galaxy, but I think that the uh, Switch version is the superior version, because you don't have to rely on the motion controls with the Wii Remote and the Wii Remote Reader, like, on your TV. It's just, like, in the Switch Joy-Con, it's so much easier, it's so much more, like, reliable. Like, I think it's the best version to play because of that. So, it makes a big difference, I think. Alright, so World 5 was kind of a little bit of a break, which is nice. Um... Anyway, it could be that way for Epic Mickey. That's what I'm thinking. Yo, Odie's in the chat. Big super husbo surprising us with cute foxes out of nowhere. We gotta name our fox, so. That's so cute. He on the one up. He's a cutie. Quick sand cash. Now, these are 1v3s. You are not always the one player this time, though. I think you're on. I think it's a mix. I don't think you're always on the team of three. We need at least 15 coins. This does not work like superstars, so we're responsible for our own money. It's not a collective group, so we don't... The other players' coins aren't going to count towards my, my coin count. In other words, you're on your own, so go for those coin bags. There's a little bit of luck to this, though. And I want to say if you if you die, you lose, like, even if you have 15 coins, I think. Look at, I'm missing all the coin bags. I'm really bad luck with this. 
I did not get enough. Man, I missed too many coin bags. I would have just lost. I know. That's my biggest complaint about 3D All-Star Shleam is that they left out Galaxy 2 for really no good reason. And that's the one game that I haven't ever had the chance to play um, that I never owned. I mean, not that I've really played Sunshine either. I started playing it um, as a Let's Try on Twitch as part of like a donation incentive. And I'll probably get back to that in the summertime. I just talked about this recently on my Twitch channel. There we go. Now we're good. But um, that aside, like, I didn't own that game, so it was nice. I love Mario Galaxy. It's my favorite 3D Mario, so, like, obviously, like, I'm fine with having a remake. And I've never played Mario 64, so it was an easy pickup for me, because it was, like, probably the easiest, most convenient way to play all three of those games. You can play them handheld, you can play them on the go. And two of them I didn't own, so it's, like, two out of three I didn't own, but it, that would have been the absolute kicker if they had the sequel, because I've never, I've never owned that game. So... Definitely a disappointing choice on Nintendo's part. Okay, I do go back to being the one player for this. Yeah! Or I did back... Or I... Yeah, le in normal mode, I think you're the, the one player. Interesting. Okay. It's disappointing because when else are they gonna re-release it? Exactly. It was a Wii game too. Like, it was a Wii title and it... I don't know. It just would have made sense. I, I don't know why they did that. You know, I'm not in the inner workings of the company. Maybe there's something that they know that I don't, but, like, still. Really strange. Big, big peaches. Wow. Peach also just never got hit. Alas, I have still never played Galaxy 2. It's kind of funny to think though, like we're, like I mentioned earlier, we're getting into the, um, the realm of like Wii games more, getting remade more often. Like, the Wii is that old now. <laughs> Not to say they weren't, like, obviously Galaxy got a uh, port to the Switch and all that, but... And that's kind of what I mean, too. Not necessarily just, like, a straight-up remake where something's different, but, like, a port. But I feel like that's gonna start happening a lot more often. Okay, so just like I just showed, even if you fall off and the other players don't, it doesn't matter. You have to win. Oh, man. Stupid. Let's try that again. I'm not very good at this game. I feel like I used to be better at it when I was younger, but maybe I'm just thinking of, like, playing with easier CPUs than this difficulty, because I feel like I'm just never very good at it now. Odd. Yay! Okay, we got it. I just had to concentrate. Um, I am wishly am petition to make Galaxy 2 on whatever the next new console is. I know. Just bring us Galaxy 2 in an easier way, dang it. Move to the music! Again, you will never be the one player, because that wouldn't make any sense. There's, You can't lose unless... The three win, I don't know. So left, left, down, left. Left, left, down. I couldn't remember the last button. <laughs> I was talking. Ah! Yo, how appropriate though that world, 
this time, World 6 Level 4, so 6-4, is a dance minigame. Favorite number, dancing. I lost, but you know, yeah. this is what I do for a living, is move to the music, so let's go. Okay, let's try this again. A. <laughs> A A Z down A. A A Z down A. A. Oh no, I was supposed to press A. I'm gonna lose again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not doing good. For some reason, I'm like, okay, it's DK's go. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Such an idiot. Okay, guys. I'm ready to move to the music this time. I'm not gonna just sit there. Okay, this is my team. I also, I don't think I realized before that like when you're in the team of three, your chosen partner will also be in the team of three every time. I'm just not realizing that because I've never played with a different partner other than Yoshi. It's kind of fun. Okay, ready? So, left? <laughs> left A, B, left B. Left A, B, left B. Left. <laughs> I only get one thing. Left. B. <laughs> I only got one button. Z. B. Left. Up. Left. B. Z. B. Z. B. Left. Up. Left. Z. B. I thought it was Z. <laughs> oh no. I can't be this bad at moving to the music now. Okay, maybe I need to just stop talking. <laughs> stop doing this. Oh no! I can't be this bad at this one! This isn't even a hard one! <laughs> Z right A. Right. <laughs> Z right A. Right. A. No, Luigi! Come on. Up. <laughs> Up, left, down. Up, left, down, down, Z, Z. Up, left, down, down, Z, Z. Up, left, down, down, Z. Yay! <laughs> we made it. <laughs> We're falling apart. I don't know why I did so badly. I've never been that bad at that game in my life. Oh my god, that was so stupid. <laughs> we really were falling apart. I think I had repeated so many sequences out loud and in my head by the end of that, it, I was making it harder. <laughs> we finally moved to the music. All right, time to waddle with a fish. I talked about it last week. Hey, this is what my last Friday turned into. I went on, I was like, Guys, it's the first Friday of Lent, you know, fish on Fridays, eat that fish, yo. And then, like, I mentioned, I was like, I'm going to a fish fry, ooh. No. We got a straight blizzard after I stopped streaming. And it was impossible to go anywhere. So I did not go to the fish fry. I did not have fish last Friday. I made spaghetti instead. Which was lovely. So yeah, filet relay was my last Friday. Oh my goodness. Alright, next we have bob -omb Barrage. Oh god. I'm gonna make a quick, uh, just in case, save state. Um, just because we're to the end of this and I don't trust this minigame. This is where normal mode ends too, so everything we're gonna see after this is a lot more notoriously difficult. And also, is something we did not see last week, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> Yay. So stupid. I still can't believe I was that bad at move to the music. Oh, come on! 
In the last six seconds? That sucks. Man. You suck. Hmm. Alright, let's do this again. I was on a roll, too. What's been the main culprit? The, the main culprits of minigame coasters so far have been Look Away, Toad in a Box, and Move to the Music! These are usually not difficult for me. What is the problem today? No. Man. Yeah, so some of these ones coming up are big, nasty. So we're gonna just like probably save state after every single one of them so we don't have to do them more than once. Because they might take multiple tries anyway. But we'll save state like after we beat them. After we beat each one. Especially the button mashers and the kind of weird timing based. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to say. You're like, I know what's coming up. Oh my god! Okay, I need to stop doing that. Usually the figure eight method works, but it's not working for me today. Man. I don't want to play Bob on Barrage. This is not a minigame I like in this game. Uh, Bill the Fajita asked earlier my favorite... Uh, mini game that's in mini game coaster, and I also forgot about Move to the Music. It's a fun mini game. It's not like worlds of fun, but like it's a cute concept and very bobo. Probably one of my favorite one v threes. Because I think Cake Factory is probably one of my favorite two v twos in this game. It's just kind of hard. Destruction Duet is fun too. Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Alright, so now we get into the two most difficult rooms in the game because they are truly the part of hard mode that makes it hard. So.
voice cuts off so abruptly when I go from BRB to um, my welcome back screen. But welcome back to Mario Party 2 Minigame Coaster Hard Mode. We're in World 7 now, which is one of the notoriously difficult worlds because it's technically like the main start to hard mode. You see worlds 1 through 6 in normal mode, uh, 1 through 3 in easy mode. So this is like the true culprit of hard mode. Um, which we're gonna get into. We already failed this first one one time, but that's because I didn't pay attention to math and I usually don't. So we'll just try something different this time. Um, but it's Honeycomb Havoc. It's a long mini game. It's annoying, um, but we have to play. So I'm definitely gonna save state after this just so we don't have to see it again, even if we beat it this time. Um, but yeah, welcome back everybody! I reheated my tea, I got some water, I took a quick little breather here. Please choose one. Oh my god! I'm lost again. Dumb. I chose two last time, I choose one this time, I still lose first. Usually I have a lot better luck with this. The good news is I have 98 coins. So, like, as soon as we win this game, we'll get a 1-up. Even if it's on this last try. If we get a back to start, it's not a big deal, because we'll get three lives and we're at the exact same place. This is so stupid. I guess I'll pick two this time. Yeah, usually I have a lot better luck with this mini game, but apparently not today. Okay, this should be good, though. No matter what Yoshi chooses, I can get Peach out. <laughs> so tragic. Man, come on, guys. We're good. We're good for now, anyway. This uh, game really does remind me of Yoshi Story, though, because I grew up with Yoshi Story, and minus the strawberries, this is all the fruit in the game. That's kind of fun. If I choose one, he will lose no matter... What? Okay, good. Yay, and now we don't have to worry about this ever again. <laughs> I just, Drift Looney, I wish that all of the Mario Parties had the Mario Party 1 miss music, because it's the funniest thing. I wish that all of them did. Okay, let's make a quick save state. Um, just so we don't have to do Honeycomb Havoc again. I know that we don't have ample lives or anything, but Mecha Marathon is a nightmare, so we don't want to do Honeycomb ha Havoc and Mecha Marathon again. So, I'm gonna try my best. This is kind of up to what the game wants to do. like one of those controllers where you push the button once and it like keeps mashing it for you. It's just AI. God, this makes my arm hurt. Oh my god, Peach! I hate you! Come on, you're that much further ahead than everybody else? Are you kidding me? I, you know what I hate about this minigame, too? She says start, and then it doesn't start for like three seconds. Like, so you're mashing before you need to. Yes, a turbo controller. I need to go turbo, Ah, oh. It's turbo-tastic. Okay, what am I doing? Let's go. Like, look at Luigi, he's flying! Yay! 
I don't have faith. Uh, I know, I wish this was the first game in World 7. Because to have to play Honeycomb Havoc again after losing this a bunch is like just a big slap in the face. Yeah, what happened to your stamina that time, Peach? Oh, come on! Ugh. I know, failing this and having to do Honeycomb Havoc again is the worst. I I can never remember which room I think is worse, this one or eight, but I feel like for me it might be this one. Um, okay, we're gonna use my save state because I'm not going to do Honeycomb Havoc again, even though... <sighs> I almost need a breather though, that's the thing. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, gotta head out. Thanks so much for stopping by, Scott Man, and for the bits and the sub earlier. It's always appreciated. All right, I'm gonna try just like yeah! holding this differently. This is one that I I need Odin. I need his help so I can we can alternate. Um, you kind of just have to get lucky though, like legitimately. Okay, wind up. Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the, um, the queen zone. I haven't said that in a while. Yo, Big Slimbo! Okay, good. Well, I can take a quick little breather while, uh, while we acknowledge this raid. Slim Kirby, thank you so much for the raid! Bowser Breaststroke. Ah, the classic, um, the classic swimming move of the Bowser Breaststroke. Koopa Cola. You love a soda when you need it. Need better AI partners. <laughs> hey, I can relate. I also need better AI partners. Um, thank you so much for the stream, Slim. I was actually lurking before I went live myself. Uh, Slimbo has been doing his Friday night, or <laughs> Friday night Mario Party. Mario Party Friday streams, and they're super fun. Thank you so much, Slim, for the resub. Yo. Flinky Ava 67, All the Flinky Ava 67, Flinky Ava 67, Flinky Ava 67, Flinky Ava 67, <laughs> Madam 5, Ava 67, Madam 5, Ava 67, Flinky Ava 67, Flinky Ava 67, I love Slimky Ava 67, she will forever be the MVP in my, in my mind for your uh, Animal Crossing playthrough. Silver Star 65, Mario Simpson 1, Casanova 64, Other Otter once again. Oh my god, my arm hurts because of this mini game too, Drift Looney. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for raiding. If anybody is new here, I'm Madam Morio. I am a Nintendo enthusiast and variety streamer here on Twitch. I'm very partial to Mario Party. It's my favorite game franchise myself. Uh, so you'll see me playing a lot of Nintendo games, especially Mario games and Mario Party, but I do um, change it up every once in a while. I'm a big lover of The Sims and Animal Crossing, like simulation style games. Um, but I also do craft streams. I have just chatting streams every now and then, you know, we do kind of a, a lot of cute, wholesome content on this channel. So thank you so much, um, for being part of the raid and hope you had a great time at Slim stream. Hashtag Radom5. Um, we, you are to the, I don't know, maybe the worst room in my opinion of minigame coaster hard mode. I just played Mecha Marathon twice. And play it again. I don't like this one. I kind of wish you only had like five seconds to mash. Yeah, we're in world seven. Honeycomb Havoc took us three tries. We lost on the first, like, honeycomb twice. Um, but at least that one doesn't hurt. This one hurts. I keep coming in second! Oh my god, what- how? How can I do this differently? I don't know how I can possibly do this differently. <laughs> my arm hurts. I feel like I have an IV and I don't. I hate this game. But the good news is, on NSO you can save state, so after all of these tricky mini games I am saving and never playing them again. So. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know how I can possibly do this faster than that. I'm like trying to stretch my arm. Yes, Mario Party Gods! Oh! <laughs> Thank goodness. Yo! Double raid! Thank you so much for the raid, A1 Jory J. Um, thank you so, so much. Welcome to the stream. Hold on, I'm, I gotta make a save state. <laughs> because I don't want to play uh, Mecha Marathon again. And we're about to do another button masher. So you rated a great time so I can take a break and say, Hey, give you a shout out. Hope you had a good stream. Well, let me make sure I spell everything right. There we go. Let's play Mario Party 4. Let's go. Slimbo is playing Mario Party 5, you're playing Mario Party 4. We're only missing somebody who was playing Mario Party 3, and then I'll be in line with two. But, um, of course! Thank you so much for the raid! I always appreciate it, and I hope you had a super fun Mario Party stream. I'm just to the toughest part of this, because there's a lot of mashing in this room. And while button mashing is something I pride myself on, all right in a row, it's very tiresome, so, you know. Alright, Abandoned Ship is not as bad, though, because you really don't have to mash until the end. Like, you you have to repeatedly press the button, but you're not, like, hardcore mashing until the end. So, it's not as bad. You can kind of chill, because this scrolls. It's just like, um, Skateboard Scamper. So I don't really have to mash them until, like, now. Which, nobody was even close. So, like, okay. Woo! So, I said this um, near the beginning of my stream, but I've played through minigame coasters so many times, just as is, without... Without the, uh... The beauty of save stating, that now I'm definitely save stating because I don't have to, uh... I don't have to worry about it. I've done it before. Now I can just have more fun and be like, okay, I don't have to replay things that are annoying. See you guys later. See you, Drift Looney. Thanks so much for stopping in. Hot Rope Jump is where I got stumped for years, for like my entire life until I met Slim Kirby and he was like, no, you have, there actually are like, you can make your jumps shorter or, or taller depending on how you press the A button, which I didn't even realize was a thing on the N64 controller, so that had me like shook in itself. But you also have to jump this 50 times and it's really easy to watch other players and get tripped up. Uh, so, here we go. Now it's not as bad, but still have to concentrate, so I'm probably not gonna talk during this just because it's a little tougher. I mean, the beginning isn't too bad, but later on, it gets tricky. I always say it, though. What an iconic game. I still remember seeing this in the trailer and thinking it looked so cool. Like, of the original Mario Party. And then they made it better in this one. kidding me? Why did it slow down at the end? Usually at the end it just keeps going faster and faster. <sighs> God, that's stupid. Alright, let's load. Because I am not doing all that crap again. This is why this room was so tough. You have all those before this. Now in Mario Party 1, you have to jump 
like 40 times, but it's the same sequence twice. So like once you do the first 20 jumps, that just repeats. So it's a lot easier. And you also don't have to like worry about like the height of your jump like you do in this game. Yeah, it sucks. I hate it. <laughs> I hate how many times you have to jump in this one. Why didn't it read? Are you kidding me? Like, that was one of those classic, like, it definitely cheated me because I definitely did what it said. Oh my god, come on. I know, it, you have to focus on... I have to just stare at my character because if I, like, look at the whole screen, I'll mess up because I'll see somebody else mess up and it'll like mess up my timing. I know right at the end and I hit A. I know that sounds like BS, but I hit A. That just seems like stupid. And all the CPUs will usually fail out around like jump 30. So at least if you're just watching your own character, you know when they're all gone that you're in like the last leg. That had more of a traditional sequence too, where like it started just staying fast at the end. It wasn't like fast, fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast. Like it wasn't like the first time we played this. That time I jumped too soon. That was my fault. But at least it knew that I pressed the button that time. That's nice of the game. Man, I wasn't expecting to struggle with this so much, but I'm struggling with it more than I usually do. But yeah, World 7. I feel like people, uh, I've heard other people say World 8 is the toughest. I think 7 is the toughest. I have the toughest time with all of these mini games. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. I don't know why I keep missing in like the last three jumps. That's so weird. Maybe because it's faster on NSO, like it's screwing with my controls. Like that sounds like BS, but God, this is like not a game I can even really save state during either like I'm I'm ready to do that because I don't want to do this from the beginning mm -hmm. 
Every time. Every single time. I guess I'll try save stating this time because I don't want to make you guys watch this like 40 times. <sighs> it just sucks because like once you break your rhythm, it's almost harder. I don't know. I guess I'll like I'll get midway and then I'll like pause and save state. Or I won't, because I'll just beat it that time. <laughs> what? I had my thumb on the start button, ready to pause, and I'm like, when it slows down, and then it never slowed down, so it kind of made it a little bit easier. Well, we are 100% save stating now. Wow. That took me back, because I haven't struggled with it that much in a long time. All right. So now we're to Skateboard's Camper. We're going. This is the same as uh, Abandoned Ship, where you don't really have to worry so much uh, until the very end. It is kind of nice to have that breather in there that is Hot Rope Jump for as frustrating and tedious as it can be. It at least isn't a masher. Why am I going so slow? Come on, Wario. Come on, Wario. Channel your inner Tony Hawk. Please be me. <laughs> Please. Yay! Oh, thank God. Alright, we actually get an extra life this time. So we have one life to work with. And the last uh, mini game. Excuse me, the last mini game of this room kind of feels like a reward because I really, really love this mini game. And it's a lot easier than the others, I think. Yes, you can screw it up, but it's not like. It's just a platformer. That's it. So it's fine. It's a lot easier. And you can kind of use what you learned in Hot Rope Jump to get ahead of your opponents. Or to... Wow, Yoshi. Yay! Easy win. One try. Alrighty. We're back in business. We're to the second to last room. A lot of people say this next room is the hardest. I disagree. I think room seven is harder. And every time I play this, I never remember which one I think is harder. 
until I really get into it because I hear so many people uh, say they just don't like this room. But we start with Deep Sea Salvage, which is a pretty easy game. It's just a coin-a-thon. Um, this is a great one, too, for if you have a winning streak, because then you will you can really bank coins off of this. I didn't look at how many we needed. I think it's 20. Of course, they're all hogging the top. Where the coin bags get thrown. Oh, what? I didn't go fast enough. Maybe it's... Man, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter, because we have 20 now. Alright! I think we do have a streak, too, so that'll be a nice one. I need to... down the brightness on my camera because the sun's not coming in here so strong anymore all right shy guy says this one is actually easier in mario party 2 than mario party 1 if you know the trick of watching lakitu if you watch lakitu and he goes by really quickly you know you're not going to get faked out whatever shy guy holds up first that's going to be the flag but if he goes by really, really slowly, you know you're gonna get faked out and you should wait to choose your flag. So that's that's the the trick of the trade, I'm telling you guys. In the beginning, he goes by decently slow, but like later into the game, he's gonna start going by really fast as Shy Guy allows less and less time for you to choose your flag. But yeah, you can see Lakitu going by slow. Going by slow again. I almost hit B for whatever reason. Almost hit B just to feel something. Dang it. How did they met? Two of them? Both the bros? <laughs> okay, well that was easy enough. Sorry, Peach, but you have to hold up the correct flag. And you failed. Yeah, I'll take that 70. Yeah, no, seriously, once you know the trick, it makes that game a lot easier. Okay, let's, um, for the sake of this... Oh, hello. That's not the right button. No! What are you doing? Okay. I was like, please don't do something stupid. Um, for the sake of this minigame coming up, I think this minigame alone is why people say World 8 is really, really tough. Because this minigame in itself is really, really tough. So, the good news is, the hardest version of this game in the entire world, because the controls are bull, is Superstars. Mario Party Superstars has the worst version of this minigame because the controls suck. They're unreliable and they don't make sense. This one, it's tough, but... I don't know if it's more or less reliable because of the speed on NSO. It's about the same, to be honest. So, we'll see. Obviously, you gotta watch that snot bubble. You can get lucky, though, like this. Now I'm really only against Luigi. And if they all get out, you can just take your time. Yay! Easy mode! I like how Wario gets like <laughs> three times fatter when his barrel pops off. Oh, that sounds terrible. Alright, well we did one and done for Sneak and Snore. That kind of makes up for some of the other mini games. Alright, Hexagon Heat. It's not a hard mini game, but it can trip you up, so... Hexagon Heat and uh, Lava Tile Isle. I'll never forget Slim, Slim Kirby's video. Oh no! 
I'll never forget. Here, I'm gonna load just so I have more coins. Uh, I'll never forget Slim Kirby's video, like, from his Let's Play, where he did minigame poster. And he actually did it, like, post-commentary because you have to concentrate so hard on some of these. But when he just could not get past... Oh, a double- again? How do I suck? Um, he could not get past Lava Tile Isle, and I'm like, that is such a random minigame to get stuck on. But then it's happened to me before, too. Okay, I don't know why I was really sucking at that first couple tries. What? How'd you know it was gonna be green, Mario? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, that was close. Okay, red. Dang it. Yellow. Ah, oh, Mario! Oh, what? How is he this fast? him, you know? Boo! Sorry, I wanted my 90. Okay. I wanted all fives. Can't. Alright. I think, uh, yeah, Lava Tile Isle is next. That was very intense. It's usually not that difficult. Ugh. I like to go with the H method, as opposed to the I method as it's showing here. Don't touch me. Okay. No, or the Z method. So I like to stay out of the action until it's absolutely necessary, because a lot of the time they'll end up screwing themselves over. But you can't end this in a tie, so you have to get everybody out. Here. Oh. Punching me in the back. And I lost because we tied. So poop. Alright, I need to get more into the action. Alright, I decided I'm over my save stating for the moment. Okay, come on now. We're almost there though. Can we go shopping? I'm just gonna stand here punching until one of them comes up to me. Oh, you suck! Don't hate the player, guys. Hate the game. Lava tile aisle. Look, it spells out lava tile aisle as you play. How could you do that to Yoshi? This is the point in minigame poster where I'm so delirious that I'm not paying attention anymore. Stupid little AI walk. Get out of here. close to winning and then I lost lame yeah. all right so we talked about all kinds of stuff earlier but I feel like I have not been able to talk about any topic for a while thanks to the difficulty of some of these mini games but um, last Friday night I had a, a girls' night with- What are you doing, Luigi? Okay, anyway, I had a girls' night with my kitties, because I started watching a movie. 
you know, I just wanted to chill out, turn on a movie, and relax, and I wanted to watch something I'd never seen, so I just found something, like, on Tubi. I was actually looking for a show that I really loved as a teenager that I haven't seen since, but I couldn't find it, and I found a, a movie that has, like, two of the same cast members in it, weirdly, but it was, it was very odd, but it was really actually a lot of fun, like, it was very entertaining. It was a musical, which I wasn't expecting. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so if you like musicals, you'll definitely like it. Um, and I'm hit or miss with musicals sometimes, like the first time I watch them, but I actually like this one. I almost turned it off after the first scene because I was like, oh god, this is going to be dumb, isn't it? But no, it actually was really well written, I think. It was really funny. Um, and it had kind of like Scott Pilgrim energy a bit to it, just with the humor. Um, and the, the editing and everything, it was very, like, anime edited, sort of. Um, it was a live action movie, it was called... What was it called? It was Girl Trash. Something. Girl Trash. Seriously. Like, one word. Hold on, I gotta look it up now, because I can't remember. And I think they made a web series after this movie came out, because it was, it kinda got a cult following. Yeah, Girl Trash all night long. And it's... It's basically like a, a chaotic night of um, a group of girls all wanting like different different things. They're all like lesbians, so it's a an LGBTQ plus like associated movie. Not that, that matters, but I'm just saying like it was kind of funny because it had like a little bit different spin than like your typical typical musical movie, you know. It had kind of its own flavor, which was really um, a lot of fun and interesting, kind of girl power-esque, so... It was ridiculous, though. But if you like musicals and you're looking for something kind of... Kind of just goofy, fun, and not too serious... I would recommend it, honestly. It was a fun watch. I would watch it again. Also, they, they saved bombs away! Ooh, they both got attacked by that last bomb. Um, they saved bombs away for the very last minute game <clears throat> in room eight. Pretty cray. But that takes us to the last world, which is going to consist of one mini game. Probably going to take us a few tries because it's just kind of the nature of it. Um. But you see, there's just the goal. So in the same spirit as uh, the original Mario Party minigame Island, where you have to then play another version of an existing minigame, same thing here. It takes a lot of work to reach the po this point on the hard course. However, if you just had three lives left, I could have uh, commended you for reaching your goal. There's no way around it. Could you please start again from world one? And we're like, heck no, ladies. Wario, ignore him. He's a fake. I guess this would be a good opportunity to see what... I think if you say yes, the same thing happens. But now that we can save state, I should have, like, remembered to do this. Because I think I've always been too scared to say it. Drat, foiled again. There's nothing to do but... Explode into three people. Surprised? We're the Baby Bowser Bunch. In order to finish this course, you must defeat us in a game of Shell Shock. However, you, Wario, shall have no teammates. No complaints? Good. And with that, let the games begin. You know what? I never had teammates in this game to begin with, so whatever. Um, this is the way that I think you unlock this particular maze of pipes in shell shock. I don't think this is available to you until you play against the three baby Bowsers. Um, and what's unfortunate about this is just like in Mario Party 1, you don't unlock Toad as a playable character after beating him in Slot Car Derby or Slot Car Derby 2, if you will, in Minigame Island. Would have been really cool if they added that in, but they didn't. And then the same thing here, you don't get Baby Bowser as a playable character or anything for beating him here. I wish you did, because that would be really unique and really fun. You'd think they would have taken that from the first game and been like, you know what, we're going to implement that now, but they didn't do it. So, whatever, it's fine, but we have to win no matter what. 
um, just like all the other minigames, but they will all target us, so it's a little bit trickier. This takes quite a few tries, typically. Um, give up. Yeah, so, like I said, we're probably gonna be doing this for a while. And if I get close in this, I can always save state in the game so we don't have to see it as much. Yeah, that's not good. I wonder if I can just... create a save state just so we don't have to see that dialogue every single time crap see how bad I am at this all right does anybody have something fun to talk about <laughs> anything fun that's not this <laughs> Man, I can't even get one of them out. Maybe I will start over. But yeah, you have to beat this. You get unlimited tries, so it's just a matter of time, but... Go for this. Oh, of course you go around. You guys suck. Man. This is so irritating. gang up on me. Oh, I don't want to do this this many times. This is so annoying. And the sun's going down. Now my camera is going to start uh, fighting for its life here. If I can just get one out, that would be lovely. I did get one out, but at the same time as I was also killed. Come on. I don't want to play this this many times. I hate this part of the game. It's so unfair. Like, I don't even know the best way to, to go about this. Seriously? can't even get one hit. I'm like, how did I ever beat this as a kid? How? Where did that hit even come from? Where? Where? It's like they hit me no matter what and I can't possibly hit them. Like, see what I mean? They don't even have to try and they hit me. Come on, I did not get that guy at the same time as you. If I could get one of these early guys out, but they take a different path every time. I just need to get one of these guys out so I can actually have a shield area.
<laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like this is not going to work. There's no way this will work, but Mario's trapped behind this this pipe. Finish. Hate this game. Yeah. What? You can't get me on your first hit. Finish. No. do this like I can't I feel like it was slower or something like back in the day like I can't it's three against one like does this game honestly expect me to like be good at this and then mine never hit Like, they're on all sides of me. I can't possibly get out of the way. It's so rigged. No one wants to play this this much, Nintendo. Like, no one had that much fun with this. No one had enough fun with Shell Shocked to need to do this this many times. Like, I have, in theory, beaten this at one point or another, but I don't know how. I can rig that so I can turn around. I just don't know that I can. And they both have all their hits left. Like, as soon as I get to the point where I can turn, they get me. Uh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. Seriously. Can I please beat this? The sun has literally, like, gone down in the time it's taken me to not do anything in this. I don't want to be doing this for the rest of time. No, don't hit me immediately! Alright, I have to uh, adjust the lighting, you guys. Because it's too dark in here. It's too dark in here, Billy. Really. Hold on, let me turn on some lights. So that way you guys can see me and my camera's not fighting. Okay, now we should be good. <sighs> I hate this game. Yeah. Sorry this is taking me so long, you guys. I didn't expect to struggle this hard with this room, because I usually, like... I mean, this is tough, but, like, it's beatable. Like, see what I mean? Like, none of my- none of mine hit him. Not one, and I- I aimed perfectly at him, like, four times. It's just stupid. 
Like, why are they not reading? Is it just more unreliable now than it used to be? Like, I don't know. Like, I did the same thing to him, it doesn't hit him. He does that to me and it hits me. We're as far away from each other, like it's equal. I don't understand and I don't really wanna be doing this for four hours. Just hit him. Hit him. Please. Why? Why does it not hit him? Why does it not hit him? Come on, game. I don't remember ever having this much trouble with this on the actual N64. Like, I just- I don't. And of course, one of them gets me at the same time. Great. This is so rigged! None of mine are working. None. Oh my god. Oh, no. I, I really don't know what to do. No! <laughs> no! Come on! You can't have that perfect of aim! You're AI! You're not God, you're freaking AI! Let's go! Do you see what I mean? Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing that I have perfect, like... A perfect shot, and it just does not take it. Oh my god, I hate this game. I don't know how I can possibly win this. I'm about to just say, screw it, I don't care. We've seen the whole mini game poster, I'll just do this later and be like, hey, here, <laughs> here's what we unlocked. Because the game blows. Cause I don't- I honestly don't know how to do this. Like, it's not... It's- it's not... It's not taking my hits. It's not doing what I say I'm doing. I get one hit in and then that's it. move fast enough to like get out of the way. I have no idea. I don't know. I might be a lost cause, you guys. Like how did that happen that time, but not the other times? This is so unreliable. So unreliable. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> this is bad! Oh, are you kidding me? It was that perfect? <sighs> oh 
Oh no, I screwed myself over because now I'm not going to be able to. Uh... Yeah, I, I, it, it's just there. I'm just dead. <sighs> hey, Odie, you want to try this for me? <laughs> what? This stupid last minigame, I played it like 45 times. Please get it on one shot, because that's usually his luck. Usually he gets things on like one try, and I have like 47 tries, so. Hi guys. Here's Big Odie. The shirt is purple, not blue. It looks blue. Well, right that's now. because the, the lighting's all funky, but oh, there we go. Odie's gonna try and win. Yeah, the Z button. Yeah, and of course, like, I had one hit left, and I save stated, and I'm like, cool. About as helpful as my save state going into the pit when I played Donkey Kong Country 3 or whatever it was. See, they didn't even shoot! They didn't even shoot at you at first! They shoot at me every time! I didn't get it. No. Get one more shot. What? That's it? Just one more? And then he's done. That's it. That's all he gives to me. Party 2. Odie's gonna save the day. Stop! If you want to save state, you can. That's the thing. I used to be able to do this, like, no problem without save stating. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. I know! Right. I don't- I don't know- I don't know if it just, like, it's faster now, so it's worse. I'm sure that doesn't help. No. Yeah. It's making it way harder for me. And I think uh, Slim may have mentioned that, that he doesn't like minigame coaster on NSO. He was saying he didn't like... Uh... Oh. <laughs> they all ganged up on yeah, me. Yeah, they did. Um, he was saying he didn't like Mario Party 3 because it's too fast, and uh, some of the games are, like, impossible. I thought he was saying he didn't like this. He may have said that. I don't know, but I can see that, too. Luckily, there's no, like, one-player mode in that that's like this. Yeah. Where it's like, beat every single minigame. We got one. What is- what? This is- this is the- the dream! You should stay the state. Oh no! Why did you save state? <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh. I was doing good. You were doing good. That was very impressive. I don't know how you're, like, a pro at this. Use the, the, the I did, and I still suck. They got me every time. They got me every time. I'm not good in battle. I'm not an army person. I wasn't an army cadet. I didn't even know you could use the Z button until like a few years ago, so I never ever did that as a kid and I was able to beat this just fine. Yay! Yay! The champ! I had to, <laughs> I had to make some moves there. Oh my god. They were chasing me down. <coughs> it's really hard because they're normally yeah, in that game, like everyone's against each other. Mm -hmm. but I that, know, but they all gang up on in you. That one, they only go after you, so it's really hard. Plus, it doesn't help after you've played it 20 times, and then you're so frustrated that you just don't, you, like, start playing worse and worse. That's, like, That's what also was happening to me. There's a decline. Like, there's, yeah. in any game, it's, like, your best attempt is usually your first one. Like, your one, first one! And then, and then it, you know, there's a, if you don't get on your first go, there's a big decline oh, before terrible. you finally get that next one. Yeah. I'm glad I was able to get those button mashers without you, because I know when we've played this more recently, we've alternated because it just hurts your arms so much if you, like, you, you definitely decline hard yeah. on those. And that one just, yeah, it just gets no, harder. No, uh, yeah, it's like, oh. Because you're physically tired. Yeah. Woohoo! Well, we've cleared hardcore, and so we get a prize of 1,000 points, so we can buy lots of mini games, which we're about to unlock um, the battle tree now. And so I present this to you. Woohoo! Battle mini games, the battle mini game seed. Oh, you hadn't done that on, on 
here yet? No, that's what you get for beating hard mode. Uh, I thought you had already done this. No, I haven't. That's why I did it just now, because I haven't done this yet. So, yay! So, Odie beat the boss, but be we beat the rest of it. <laughs> we yeah, beat it together. I was the that's, why, that's why I DK here. I was like, well, if I have to phone Odie, yeah. then there's the representation. Alright. Like cleared with two lives and 85 coins. So our special bonus is 285 coins. Yay! Okay, so I think we have more than enough to buy all these minigames, too. I don't think we were really missing that many. <laughs> yeah, Julie passed out. Alright, hard course is now complete. Thanks, Odie! Bye! Okay, Odie, Odie came in clutch with that ending. <laughs> So now, uh, minigame park is complete. We have all five trees. And we're gonna get another minigame from Piranha Plant once we go there. Let me adjust my camera though for a second because the brightness is like way up from when it was actually sunny. And the sun has gone down. Okay, so well met. I now carry battle minigames for your shopping enjoyment. Wanna buy a minigame? Yes, I do. I wanna buy all of them. So we've purchased every other kind of minigame to completion. Now we just need um, the eight battle minigames. We definitely have enough coins to buy most of them, but um, I thought we would be able to buy them all. They're expensive though. But it's okay, because it gives us incentive or reason to play like another board. Once we play another board or two, like we'll be able to buy these no problem. I guess I could have bought this one, Bowser's Big Blast, instead of one of the other ones. So we're only missing Hot Bob Bomb and Bowser's Big Blast now. And once you buy those, um, those are the last two mini games uh, to be purchased in the game. Yes, we're leaving already. So then when you come back to Woody after that, he'll have like a growth, which sounds gross, but it's he's like, wow, what's this? And it's the driver's ed minigame. It doesn't appear on boards or anything. Literally the only way to play it is by visiting Woody. And it's not that great. It's basically just like the driving mechanic of like Magna Carta, but you're in an obstacle course where you can't run into anything. It's just, it's not the most amazing game ever or anything. Um, but we're gonna check out the battle tree now, because why not? Let's put everybody on super hard, just because. Alright, so we're going to check out the battle tree. Um, and before we do that, we're going to get a little bit of a spiel from Piranha Plant. Whoa, ho, ho, look at all these mini games. You've almost got them all. You must be really good. I'm impressed. Here, take this. It's Rainbow Run. Woo! So, wow! I've never seen so many mini games. I'm going back to the forest, but keep on playing. We'll see ya. All right, so we get an unlockable 1v3 mini game called Rainbow Run, which is essentially a uh, tightrope treachery just on a rainbow. So we're gonna check that out now. I'll show it off for you guys. I will show it all. It's kind of fun if you're one of the three players too because you're on these pink clouds. It's just so cute. It, I always said this looks like we're over like Toad Highlands or something from Mario Golf. Why am I walking the, the wrong way? So cute. First time I ever saw this minigame was on uh, Slim Kirby's playthrough of Mario Party 2. Before that I didn't know it existed because I had never beaten the hard minigame coaster because I got stumped with Hot Rope Jump. I thought it was impossible. And today it proved to be pretty dang difficult. I'll give you that much. I think the speed just doesn't do us any favors with that kind of thing. Alright, Mario, come on. Oreo! You have like five seconds! <laughs> Walk through the rainbow! Did we do it? Oh, we did! Okay, we won on literally the last second. <laughs> <sighs> Tragic. 
All right, so that's Rainbow Run. That is our newest unlocked minigame. That will appear on boards from now on, which is kind of fun. We only have six out of eight for the battle minigames. Um, I'll go ahead and show off my two favorites. Actually, let's show off three of the... Let's show off three of them. We don't need to necessarily see Grab Bag or... Magna Carta's fast. Raking them in sucks. Um... I mean, I guess I could show these off, but you know what? Fine, we're just gonna show them all off, because why not? Alright. Grab bag. I didn't like grab bag in the original Mario Party. I like it better in this format. Um, just because I'm not very good at it in general. This is also the version where I say the bags look like they have blueberries on the top. I was gonna say, I don't know who has the, uh, golden mushroom, but it's not me. Dang it! It's always, like, depressing when you have the golden mushroom and you don't know it, and then, like, last second someone steals from you and you lose it. Which I got it in the end, so... Wario, where are you going? Why did I take this crazy route? And look at that, we actually won! Tim. Okay, well that was good. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, we're gonna play Bumper Balloon Cars. This one's kind of fun because it's just short and sweet. Again, all the battle mini games are like my favorites in the game. With, uh, obviously the exception of like raking them in because it's so but I don't know, I feel like they're all fun and just the added pressure of like the nature of battle mini games. The payoff is better, like it I don't know. I just like the, the structure of it in this game. Whereas in like Mario Party 3, I don't I like the the battle mini games are like the weakest part to me. Like I don't like those battle mini games after coming off loving these. Okay, here's raking them in. Again, definitely the weakest, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's kind of tough, too, because you're kind of against... Like, it kind of just depends on where you are on the map, how well you do, because you're hoping to be in a spot where, like, your opponents try and move something, they move it closer to the edge and don't get it, and then you get to benefit from that. So, it's there's not a whole lot of, like incredible skill, but hey, we came in second, we would have gotten coins at least. Definitely the weakest one of the battle mini games. Okay, let's move on to Day at the Races. I love this one! These next three are my, like, top, like, some of my favorite battle mini games. I love Bowser's Big Blast too, but, um, in the top out of all eight, my top four, those would be it. But this is my favorite minigame that was newly introduced to Mario Party 2. Oh, excuse me. Alright, I'm picking Boo, because Boo's my favorite. My main. My main man, Boo. I'm so happy that this is in this game, like a battle minigame tree, because for the longest time, when I was a kid, I thought they just dissed the battle minigames in Minigame Park, and I was super disappointed, because they're all my favorite. Only to find out that it was just because I hadn't beaten hard mode roller co or minigame coaster. Ooh, who won? Oh, that was so close. Look, between oh, I think it was um, yeah, it was Womp. I'm like it was either Womp or Bob Bomb. They both were like killing it. What's hard is we won't know for sure. We just have to go by what we think we saw because it doesn't have like a proper ending screen in this mode. Um, facelift, all time favorite mini game. I think I like Bowser's facelift best though. This one's kind of fun though because you can choose which character to mess with. Uh, we'll go ahead and mess with Wario since that's who we're playing as always. Um, it's a little trickier. It's not so, like, straightforward as the Mario Party 1 version. This is not the most difficult face, but it's pretty funny. This one's kind of more... 
Yeah, this one is a little bit more straightforward than most Wario faces tend to be, or most faces in general tend to be in this game. Okay, I gotta pull up the mustache. Oh, not the ear, the mustache. Yeah. Did the nose get messed with? Oh no, I pulled it down, I didn't mean to. 97! If I hadn't messed with the nose, I may have gotten a perfect, but I just grabbed it at the end there, not meaning to. Alright, so there's facelift, and then last but not least, we have Crazy Cutter. And I think it's more reliable in this game, luckily. Although I think the most reliable version is in Mario Party Superstars. Now let's go ahead and do Cheap Cheap. Again, you can pick which face you want to cut out, which is nice, because in the original Mario Party you couldn't pick if there were variations within a minigame which you wanted to play, it was just random every time. So it's nice that they added that to this Mario Party. Uh... Okay, it looks good. 70. What? Mine was not a 72 point job. Come on. I got the lowest score and look how bad theirs look. Mm-mm. I disagree. Alright, so the only mini games that we did not see today were obviously the item mini games because they don't appear in mini game coaster. And then Bowser's Big Blast, which is unfortunate because I really do love that mini game. I should have like looked at what I was buying, but I I really thought I could afford them all. Um and Hot Bob Bomb, which is a Another version of the Mario Party 1 Hot Baba minigame, only this time, instead of having one loser, you just have one winner, which is kind of like... I don't know, I just like how ridiculous the Mario Party 1 version is, but that wouldn't make sense in a battle minigame. Alright, well you guys... We finally made it. It took longer than I thought it would because I struggled a lot more on certain games that I didn't think would take that many tries, but I guess I didn't really know what I was in for with some of them. Being on the NSO, being a faster running system, needing to call Odin Smekin to beat the final boss, that was just incredibly frustrating and I kept getting worse. Um, so thanks for sticking it out with me and, and joining me for minigame coaster hard mode. I can't believe how late it is. I guess I didn't start streaming until like 4 o'clock today though, so... And I don't normally stream for 3 hours these days. I normally keep it closer to 2 hours, so it's... You know, it is what it is. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying like... I can't believe what time it is. Anyway, I want to thank, um... Here, let me switch screens. I want to thank, uh... a one Jory J, Uh... Slim Kirby... And let's see, who else was it? Weren't there three raids today? No, those were the only two. Okay, thank you guys both so much for the raids. I really appreciate those. No, I thought there was one. Maybe I'm thinking of the other day. I must be. I'll refresh the page just to make sure because I don't want to be like, wow, I only gave credit to two, two out of three. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much to everybody who joined me in chat and went along for the ride today. But A1 Jory, Slim Kirby, thank you so much for the raids. Um, huge thank you to Koopa Booey, Scottman895, and Rainbow Road1996 for the resubs. Thank you for the new follows today. Scottman, thank you for the bits. Um, I appreciate all of the support that you guys provide. And Slim Kirby, thank you for the resub too. I, I am so grateful to all of you guys for the support that you provide. Um, and before I let you guys go, uh, I'm gonna see if anybody's on here to raid because it's kind of a weird time on Friday night. I'm not usually like live at this time. Um, okay, but anyway, I wanna just remind everybody that next weekend, so really the only the only streams affected by this are next Friday, which is Friday, March 1st, and then the following Monday, Monday, March 4th, I will not be streaming on those days. So there's no Friday stream next week uh, because I'll be going to Anime Crossroads as a cosplay guest. I'm super excited. 
Um, I'll be sure to be like tweeting about it and posting my cosplays and all that good stuff. I had my dress rehearsal for my cosplays yesterday, which is just the final time I try everything on, make sure everything's good to go before con weekend. And that went really well. It went really fast. I had everything I needed and it was maybe the easiest dress rehearsal I've ever had for a convention especially for cosplaying all three days. I was very proud of myself. So anyway, that was yesterday, um, but I will not be streaming next Friday. So don't expect to stream from me. However, on Sunday, March 3rd is my panel at the convention. I'm gonna try to stream it. I'm going to try. If I can't get a powerful enough Wi-Fi signal or it just doesn't work, I'll at least record it and then watch it live back with you guys later. I'm not gonna be interacting with chat or anything. It's not gonna be that kind of thing. It's just gonna be a mobile, like, here's what's going on with me kind of stream because obviously my priority will be the guests at the convention and who is in the room. But you guys will at least get to see it and feel like you're part of it and, and see what the panel's all about. Uh, my panel is called uh, Cosplay More Than a Costume. It's all about the performance elements of cosplaying and how to bring out your per your best performance when you cosplay. So that's gonna be um, Sunday, March 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is in the morning. Again, I'll try my best to stream it, but if it doesn't work out, then I'll at least record it so we can watch it back together later and I can kind of talk about it with you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's what's, so next week's going to be a, a short stream week. I'm only going to be streaming on Monday and Tuesday next week. Um, and I'll get the schedule out for that on my Discord. So I'm definitely, um, oh, that's not how to spell Discord. Wow. I'm definitely going to be, um, updating you guys on there and, and getting any extra info I need to you all on there. And we're heading into a new month, so I've got a new schedule and uh, pretty much the same as this month, except I'm adding Thursdays back in as far as streaming goes. Uh, but that is the tea on that. I'll go ahead and share the link to uh, my web page on Anime Crossroads website. You can learn more about the convention that I will be part of there. I also want to share my personal link tree that has all my social media on it and all my social links, including my Etsy store, my Patreon, which I just uploaded a behind the scenes cosplay video yesterday. So if you are one of my superstar tier patrons, you have access to that. Um, and it's showcasing kind of the final steps of my Furby cosplay that I've been working on. So you get to see it first. Um, but anyway, on that note, I want to say thank you to my patrons for this month. Particularly these folks who have pledged $5 or more to my campaign. All right, Angelia, Bowie, Chris R, Captain Hastings, Scottman895, Snarker the Yoshi, Supernova888, and Psycho Nacho Man. Thank you for all of your extra support. And I really appreciate it. It really goes a long way. So in those next two streams, if we hit this $50 goal, I will also be doing a con music video uh, for ACR this year. Um, just to kind of showcase things in a different way, but uh, that's those are all my announcements I have for now. I will be checking in with you guys on Discord over the weekend, um, but until if, if I don't see you there, I will hopefully see you on Monday for my Monday stream. That'll be the next time I am live. So all the love to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for Mario Party 2 minigame coaster today. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.